how to build a website in ClickFunnels, coming right up. Hey guys, it's Spencer from Buildapreneur, and this video is going to be how to build your website inside of ClickFunnels. A couple things to note before we get started. Um, I got this funnel from a friend named Mike Lazarus. It's a really cool funnel. He deserves a shout out. There's a link down below for him. Um, it's a really, really nice looking funnel slash website. Um, the next thing is, uh, this isn't like an end all ClickFunnels course. So if you're lost on some things that I'm doing inside of ClickFunnels, go grab the course down below um, at buildapreneur.com slash free. There's a link and it can teach you a lot more about like just how to use ClickFunnels in general, which will be very helpful to you. Um, uh, so yeah, do that and let's get started. The first thing you want to know is I'm actually going to give you this funnel. Okay. So you're going to click the link down below where it says share funnel and it's actually going to upload this entire funnel slash website into your ClickFunnels account and you're going to be able to make edits to it. So when you grab it, it's going to show up like this. We can preview it right here. And this is essentially what you're going to end up with this cool website. And you can obviously do this and change as much as you want. You can see it's pretty much a menu right there. And it, um, this one actually just links to other places on the home page. You can build your own pages if you want. We'll talk about how to do that. Um, but that's the gist of it, okay? So first thing you gotta do is you've actually gotta add it to your own domain, okay? So you're gonna go to settings here and you're going to go to domain and you're gonna add it to your domain like that. And then you're gonna click save right there. And if you don't have a domain, yeah, you're like totally brand new to ClickFunnels, welcome aboard. You'll just go right here, you'll go to domains and it'll talk to the process of getting your first domain. It's free. If you don't know what a domain is, it's cfbonus.com or buildapreneur.com or, or all those things. Um, but anyway, so once you have your domain, then we need to go through and we need to uh, name all the pages, okay? And the way we do that is actually gonna be in the settings of each page. So each one of these pages, when we click, will give us settings. And this is going to be like our main home page. So we would go here and we would say home, okay? Then we'd click update page. If we go here and preview it now, sorry if that was confusing, cfbonus.com slash home, okay? And the way I did that was just these settings right here. You wanna do that on all these pages, okay? You're gonna name this one terms of service, you know, so you're gonna click that and you're gonna change your settings and oh, look, it's already set up to go. Go Mike. Okay, so now we've got our domain. We've named all the pages in our domain so they make sense. And now all we need to do is um, we need to add the pages to the menu and we need to clone the header. So if you decide that this one home page isn't enough for you, you want like other pages, the way you'll do it is you'll add pages right here. And I really like Mike's setup here where you can see he's got all these and, and it's actually just one big page. So you can see it just scrolls me through. When I click that, it just takes me to another spot on the page. But if you don't like that, then you can add other pages right here. And then what you would need to do, okay, is so for example, if it was the terms of service page, you would need to copy Control copy that link, go back to your home page, go into your editor, and you would need to add it to this menu bar right here, okay? You would need to add a link. So, I mean, you probably would remove some of these because he's, he's got a lot of things. Um, so let's say we go to, we would remove, wow, there's so many of these. Anyway, we click into there and you can see he's linked to section 7615, but you would just go like this and you would link to your other page there. And then we can change the text on that as well, just by double clicking. You know, you can change the text right here and then make it some other like contact page or something and then it would send them to another page, okay? So I hope that makes sense. Um, basically this menu is just a bunch of links, okay? And so we would change the text and we would change the links of where those menu, where that menu goes and it would basically just be going to other steps in our funnel, okay? And then what I would do is take this um, section right here. So you can see this section is just that black section at the top, the header. And I would, oh, I forgot. I would clone it, okay? And when you clone it, oh, not clone it. I'm sorry. It's been a while. I would save it. And it's going to let you save the template. And then you're going to be able to go to all the other pages on your website. So, for example, I could go to my terms of service page. And he's probably already got this set up. I would click edit page. Okay. And look, he doesn't have it set up, so we can do that. I would add a new section. I would go to my sections here. And now I forgot what we called that. 
I don't remember if we named it anything. Um, anyway, it would show up right here, whatever you just saved that as. And uh, there's so many things. We'll just say that. And like something like that, and it'll show up. And then you can add your menu all across the board. Sorry, it's uh, been a while since I did this exact thing. Um, but anyway, and that way you can add that menu to every single page in your funnel really, really quickly. Okay, so once you've done that, you've taken your, you know, you've got a home page. Maybe you've um, added a contact page. You can see he added an extra random page. You've added the header to all those, and that header links to all the other pages as well. So it's basically a menu, right? Uh, then you want to go and you need to redirect your main to your home page, okay? And what I mean by that is you're going to go to your domains and write minus CF bonus right now. And if I click into CF bonus and I click edit here, the default page, which means if someone, whoop, if someone goes to cfbonus.com, where do they go? Which I want that, like this is a website, right? So I want someone that's going to cfbonus.com to go to... Woo, then you're going to select your funnel right here. And as you can see, I've got a whole ton of funnels. Hopefully, you don't have this many funnels, and you'll be able to find wherever that uh, funnel is that we just created. Jeez, that's a lot of funnels. Anyways, you'll just click, you'll select that, and you'll click Save. And, what, and then that means that when someone goes to CF Bonus or whatever your domain is, .com, it will now forward on to that funnel that we were just at. And it will forward to the home page of that funnel, which then has links to all the other steps in the funnel, which are basically just pages. So you just got to think of these as each pages and you name each page and then you build each page individually. And if you change your mindset to that, then everything makes a lot more sense. And then all you got to go, go do is go through and personalize this to you. Okay, so you're going to pop this open and you're going to need to change out the image and you're going to, need to change out the text and you're just going to go down and do that with each of these things and you can remove entire sections if you want or whatever you want to do with it add your products add your youtube videos boom wada bing wada boom however that goes and you've now got a website instead of click funnels okay um so it really is really really simple if you're willing to make your website look somewhat like this if not you just need to know how to build this uh this menu header right here and as you can see this is just a paragraph and he's just added um text and then line text line text line text line that's all he's done okay he's added a row he's made the row two columns as you can see and then he's made one column the full thing there and one column not and that's how you build your website and the rest of it's all very 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 simple as soon as you duplicate that and put it on every page you make links to all the different funnel steps slash pages in here and you've got yourself a website inside of click funnels that works great when someone goes to cfbonus.com Remember, I didn't have it save it, so I can't do that, but it'll go, and it'll look like this, and boom, there we are. Okay, very, very easy to do, works really well. Um, as you can see, it looks like a legitimate website. No one can tell that it's not a legitimate website per se. Um, you can't have it say cfbonus.com and not have home there, okay? You can have it so it forwards, so when someone goes to cfbonus.com, it forwards to home, but it'll always show slash home there, and if that bugs you, then go to WordPress, but I don't know why that would bug you enough to make that worth it. Um, so that's how we build websites inside of ClickFunnels. Let me know if you have questions down below, if there was anything that was confusing. Um, I know I stumbled a little bit in there. Um, sometimes I get confused on the editor as well. So um, shoot me questions as they come and we will answer them.